Good blessed Monday morning, November the 2nd, 2020. It's about the 11 15 a.m. 2020. Time to change, time for a vision, time for some new things, especially here in the United States, to happen. Uh, for centuries, it's just been things that's not been right especially for people of color, black people in particular. But I greet all human beings all around the world with a universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. Doesn't matter what your political, philosophical, personal, nor religious beliefs may be. Doesn't matter whether you're the richest to the poorest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter whether you are the proclaimed toughest to the proclaimed weakest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter if you my family, friends, or my, nor my proclaimed enemies. It doesn't matter whether you like me, my YouTube videos, whether you like uh, anything that I say on social internet, period. Whether you like it or not, that is your personal prerogative. It's my prerogative and my personal uh, business to put what I want to put on there. And, you know, I encourage anybody that's being forced to watch anything that I say or do uh, call 911 or your local law enforcement officials and press charges. And I greet all of you again with the peace and blessings of God be with you. Uh, today, what I want to talk about is uh, people saying, let's vote. Okay, today is early voting, but I'm going to wait till tomorrow until the official day, which is if God allow me to see it tomorrow, November the 3rd, 2020. I'm going to go down the street here on Vine and Main Street at the uh, Baptist Church down there and, uh, and vote like I normally do. Anybody want to know what I'm voting? I'm, I'm voting for Biden and Harris. Again, like I said, it's not that I think that they are the two best individuals uh, to uh, be head of the United States. But those are the only other two besides Trump and Pence. And after four years, no matter whoever get in, uh, black folks, <laughs> uh, we need to get together, <laughs> Spanish folks, uh, we need to get together, anybody that stands for justice, we need to get together and try to change that, allow it to be more than just a Democratic Party and a Republican Party running to represent all human beings here in the United States because I, I, I'll tell you from experience, I've been here over six decades. You see what I'm saying? And uh, I done seen bad Democrats just like I done seen bad Republicans. I done seen good Republicans just like I done seen uh, good uh, Democrats. Uh, Harold Washington set the example, y'all. He was a Democrat, but he didn't see fit to uh, uh, run as a Democrat nor a Republican uh, when he ran for mayor in the 1980s. He ran on the independent party because he's seen the corruption, the machine, the Democratic machine. They had that same thing down here. But what's so sad about it, you see what I'm saying? White supremacists and blacks, sell out blacks, has joined together. But I ain't told y'all that a hundred times down here in Charles, Missouri, Mississippi County. But if it's happening here, it's probably happening in other places, too. So whoever get in, if if Biden and Harris get in, y'all Democrats, you, you Democrats with power, you see what I'm saying? Precinct captains, uh, all of you other people with power, black people with power. Start making sure all the black communities is taken care of right. I was just looking at a, a, a brother up there speaking with the politicians uh, representing the Rosalind, I think, in the, uh, no, the, uh, what was it, the uh, Inglewood in the Pulling area. And he was saying how Walmart and all these other places is going in there. And he answering all these questions from people on his uh, on his thing there. Hey, hey, now uh, uh, on his uh, Facebook thing. Well, not his Facebook thing, but on the WGN, whoever the news people was. He answered all the questions. But the question when the people was asking said, OK, all these jobs and things coming in. When is all this violence going to stop? He was saying how. All the violence has slowed down in the uh, Pullman area in, in the Inglewood, but he wasn't telling the truth. But, you know, that's that's what people do, you know, long as it's benefiting them. But anyway, y'all, let's vote tomorrow. Black folks, let's try to stop killing each other. 
Let's try to, as Rodney King said, see if we all can just get along. I'm going to leave for right now. I love all of y'all. Peace be still.